We've all had to pack a bag or a suitcase to go on holidays. But one of the things that I thrive on is being incredibly organized. So here are my tips on how to plan a holiday and pack so you can be a little bit organized, curate design as you plan for your next trip away. So with holidays just around the corner, some of you may be choosing to escape and choosing to head away, which means lots of planning, lots of documents and lots of packing. So one of the things that I wanted to share with you today is to look at the tips that um, I actually use in my planning. We have a big holiday coming up, we're away for three weeks and that takes a little bit of prep. So here are my tips on what I think you should be thinking about as you're planning a getaway with your family. Now tip number one, I highly recommend that you print out as many documents as you can. So as I have been booking flights and accommodation and working with our travel agent, as I said, it's quite a big trip that we've got coming up. So I've made a point to work directly with our travel agent so I didn't have to do everything myself. Um, but as she's booked bits and pieces, I've just been adding it to this folder. Now I know that this is obviously a lot of printing and a lot of paper, but it's a really good way of ensuring that we have a backup in case we don't have access to um, my emails or anything that I've saved online. Now that being said, one of the things that I've made a point to do is take photos of all of these documents. So worst case scenario, if this folder happens to disappear, I still have photos of all of the documents in place, which is a combination of flight details, reservation numbers, different accommodation um, locations that we will be staying at and um, vehicle details as we're hiring a car for part of our trip as well. So that is all in there ready to go. The other piece of documentation that is incredibly important if you are heading overseas is your passport. So being the captain of our trip and all the things that I need to organize, I've made a point to put all of our passports in one place. The thing that I suggest that you do is take a photo of the main page of your passport as well. And if you are traveling to a location that has visas, making a point to take your photos of those documents as well. So if you don't have access to Wi-Fi or data, you can still access everything you need. So when you're about to travel, be it on a long haul flight or just a two hour flight interstate, it's always a good idea to have a bit of a plan with your carry-on. So I ended up pack, um, purchasing this absolutely fantastic backpack. So it um, zips all the way down so I've got the capacity to open it all the way up. So some of the things that will go in here are uh, the travel documents that I mentioned earlier. Now the other things that I will be putting in here are all the things that I need for our flight. So no surprises, I'm a bit of a workaholic so I'll make sure that I have my laptop with me. Um, iPad, it's just yet another device but it's always great to have things that I can quickly access if I need to jump on some emails. I can also download things beforehand if I do want to watch a specific series or anything like that that I can do. Now, speaking of what you're watching, um, you all know that being on the plane, it's super noisy. So a combination of what, uh, what audio you have access to. So making a point, if you can afford it and if you can kind of set that aside in your budget to get some really good noise cancelling headphones. They not only obviously give you really good audio for when you're watching um, movies or you're listening to music or whatever else, but it also cuts out a lot of that background noise. So the mate next to you is snoring and actually try to chill out a little bit. Now, if these aren't quite what you're after um, or you don't really have them, another option is obviously your traditional headphones, just making sure you have them in your carry-on as well. And if you want no tangles, making sure you've got some OCD e-winders which are available on our website. So I've got all my bits and pieces, but what happens if my phone goes flat or my iPad goes flat or whatever else? So making sure that you have a power bank. Now, one of the things with a long haul flight is you don't want to get to your destination and feel really yuck. And if by chance 
you get sick on the plane or something doesn't quite go to plan, you want to make sure you've got some backups in place. So what I make a point to do is have a change of clothes, uh, some facial wipes. So I, um, I personally use these anyway, um, but making sure that I can go wash my face and if bathrooms aren't really nice or whatever, I can still clean my face. That's always a great idea. And for the kids, just making sure there's just some standard wet wipes. Um, airports are gross sometimes and other areas and just things that you want to be able to quickly wipe your hands and get rid of some germs. That's always a great idea. So one of the things that I make a point to do is put together a first aid kit. Now, it's not a traditional first aid kit. Yes, it does have some band-aids in here, but it also has things like hand sanitizer, tissues, paracetamol, and other antihistamine style medication that we literally take almost every week. Um, it's got some children's Panadol and Nurofen in here as well. Now, for Mr. Harry, who is seven, who is just notorious for motion sickness, we're going to try a few different things this time around. So, we're going to try these C-band wristbands. Now, the way that they work is similar to acupressure, and essentially what you do is uh, you work through... You find a particular spot in the instructions that kind of shows you where on your wrist you need to find this particular spot. And these little pressure points, because they're quite tight, are meant to push down on your wrist. Now, even if it just works as a placebo, for me, I really hope that it gives him the opportunity to travel and not be worried about getting sick, because it is something that makes him a little bit anxious. Now, worst case scenario for years, we have a whole heap of these. Um, I personally prefer to have these with me as opposed to waiting to see what's available on the plane. Yep, most planes have the sick bags right in front of you, in front of your seat, uh, but these are quite convenient and they're much easier to clean up any kind of mess and reduce the smell. Um, a few other things that we've made a point to do is um, I tend to get hay fever and because we're traveling somewhere I've never been before, I've made a point to have antihistamine, but I've also got some eye drops. Um, and the last things that we've got specifically for everyone is I've packed this little kit, which is essentially gonna have all of our toothbrushes, some kids' toothpaste, some adults' toothpaste, and I will have that in my carry-on so no one needs bad breath on a 15 hour flight. So with all of these tips, they're all fantastic, it's all about planning, but the key thing to remember is have a fantastic time on your holiday. Just make sure that you make the most of these moments and make all of those beautiful memories for yourself and your family.